Alright guys, how's it going and welcome back to the Premier Stadium. We are here today for the Brewers second home game of this League One campaign as we faced a very strong looking Doncaster Rover side. Uh, it's going to be an interesting one. Uh, the Brewers have got a fair few injuries to their name at the minute. Uh, but we've scrapped a team together and they're hopefully going to push for the Brewers' first points, as I mentioned in this League One season. Um, so the team is a 4-3-3, same formation uh, as we've played in our opening two games of the season. Stephen Bilter is in goal, John Rayford is at right back, Carl McFazden and Jake Buxton at centre back and Ben Turner at left back. Uh, then it's going to be Ben Fox and Scott Fraser partner and Joe Sabara in midfield. Uh, with Boyce up front, Aikens on the right and Sordell on the left. So it's for... Uh, uh, considering our injury situation, I think it's quite a solid team. And um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how it goes. I'm back in the Brewers to just about get their first points. Uh, I think it'll be a 2 1 Burton win uh, with Liam Boyce to continue his great goal scoring form and get another one. And also for Lucas Aikens to kick off his League One tally. Um, so yeah, it's going to be an interesting one. Uh, it's going to be a tough one as well. Doncaster not to be taken lightly. Uh, after a very solid opening start to the season for them. But um, yeah, we'll see you guys at half time. We're going to go interview uh, hopefully a Burton fan and a Doncaster fan ahead of the game. And um, yeah, we'll see you guys then. And then from there, we will head to half time. Come on, you Brewers. She won't be like that in Paul tomorrow. <laughs> Okay guys, so we are joined by Adam and Owen, Burton Albion fans, ahead of today's game against Doncaster. Uh, so first of all guys, how long have you supported Burton? Me personally, about five or six years been coming as a season ticket holder. And um, how have you felt um, Burton's start to the season as well? Not been great. Um, the second half of the first game was what I'd expect from a Burton Albion side. I uh, wasn't able to travel to um, Gillingham, I'd love to have gone to Gillingham. Couldn't make it, so and I couldn't really comment on that. that game as well, but right I'm hoping we'll get a decent result today. Um, this, this, uh, yeah, I just want to just want to get, get get a decent performance. Uh, if you haven't seen, uh, uh, so, who do you think Burton's anyway? key player is at this moment in time, and what Don Castle fans should be looking out for? Oh, no, Boyce. Every time, Boyce. Just a finisher. Natural finisher. Obviously, Boyce being Burton's top scorer, two and goals and two games for so far. So, he'll be looking to add a third today. Um, so, how can you see today's game panning out? I'd want minimum a draw today. Um, I'd love a win. Um, I'd, but I'm going to go for a 1 1 today. Um, I think Boyce will score. Um, I hope Foxy has a decent game. A big fan of Foxy, young lad. Um, but I'll take a 1 1 and draw to you. Okay, so thank you very much for your time, Adam, and uh, enjoy the game. Thank you. Alright, guys, so um, pre match now, we're just going to be asking some questions. Uh, first of all, we've got Doncaster fan here, Matty. Um, so, first of all, Matt, how long have you supported Doncaster? I've supported him since I was four years old, uh, since 93. Well, 93, 94, well, 92, 93, uh, my dad took me to the game. Uh, as a little toddler, I was running up and down the stand. And I didn't enjoy it until the beats come for 3 1. And then after we beat Scunthorpe three one, I've I've um, I've been following them ever since. Yeah, so a lot of ups and downs in that time. Yeah, well, in uh, I was there as a ten year old, ninety seven, ninety eight, when uh, Ken Richardson, uh, he had the club club brought to down. Uh, we had no players, no football boots whatsoever. The club was going under. And then we got relegated out of the conference and then John Ryan saved us. And since John Ryan took over, well he's left left the club now, but when he took over he's brought us back to the football league and and it's like when when there's relegation when there's relegation it, it, I always think of that season it could be worse than it is. So but yeah, I've I've followed him for over like twenty seven years. So um, how can um, how has Doncaster start the season been so far? It's been fantastic. I mean, um, Grant McCann. Uh, I didn't know what to expect to 
I didn't know what to expect to him because at the end of the day, he did a good job at Peter, but he like challenging 12 players at mid table. And I was quite surprised I sacked him because from the football scene the last two games, so he was, he's like very attacky minded. I mean, Malik Wilkes, for me, it'd be a Leeds United starter, but. But end of day, end of day, it's like I think for Malik Wilkes, he needs to be in the, he needs to get more games with us and more games to score goals. He's going to be a top championship, lower a lower Premier League uh, striker. Yeah. So. And is there a Doncaster player that? Perhaps we should look out for because there are Doncaster throws, uh, players a real threat. Uh, for me, uh, Danny, Danny Andrew at fullback is is probably one of the best fullbacks in the one. And Marquis runs his socks off. Last season. He did score. He did score fifteen. He did well to score fifteen on his own. But for last season, he um, for last for last season, he did well to score fifty goals because he had no one to support him. Uh, from midfield, Tommy Rowe he's, he's great. He's great at, at set pieces and then good at uh, getting assists. So we've got some threats, but. It's whether if they turn up. Last season they were inconsistent. Last season, this season, I just really hope they can keep the consistency. And it's that it's been two or three games, and it's showing a piece. It's showing the consistency, but we're gonna have a game where where it's not gonna settle us, and we're gonna drop points. So hopefully it's not today, but you're yeah. hoping it is today. So. Yeah, um, so also, um, you've sort of mentioned it already, but what kind of game can you see uh, today? How do you think it's going to pan out? Uh, very, uh, from what I've seen from McCann from last two games, uh, we get very, he, he, he gets very tacky from, uh, on, the wing, on, the, on the wings. Yeah. Whereas last season, um, Dan Ferguson, he didn't like to play with us. It's like he, I can understand my fans' frustrations because he used to play Tommy Rowe as a wing back, and Tommy Rowe is not a wing back. He's a he's a winger. If you play him in the right position, he's going to do well. It's like it's like I had a discussion with someone yesterday about about playing players in wrong positions. If if you're playing them in the wrong position, they're not going to do well. But if you play them in the right position, they're going to show their strong possibilities. And that's the same with Bert. You will have it with you with your, your, your lads. It's like, if Nigel Clough decides to play a player, oh, let's play him at, let's play him at centre-back. But he's stronger at full-back. You're going to have weaknesses. And I think some managers don't read into some players because if you if to make a good manager you've got to have them as a full potential in their position because because that's if you play them in the wrong position it's not going to prove their game especially if they're like 21 22 you know what i mean it's like that's 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 my views anyway about about players for any football club, if it, whether it's Arsenal or or uh, Accrington Stanley, it's like that's my my views. And uh, finally, what's your score prediction? I'll just I'll take a point now from start to final, so because you guys are very desperate for a win, and uh, from from I, when I always think at this stage of season. It's always worse to play teams who haven't won a game because it makes the players more determined. So I'll, I'll take a 1 1 draw, 0 0. So I'm happy with that. But Malik Wilkes won't carry all his form. So he's going to have a game where, where he's not going to score a goal. So 
That's yeah. my my opinion, anyway. So. Yeah, okay, so thank you very much for your time, man. No, it's really nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, guys, so it's half time now. It's Burton Albion nil, Doncaster nil. Uh, after a very even first half, the teams go into the break even as well. Uh, Doncaster starting the game probably the better, but the Brewers pull into the game and ending is pretty much the dominant force. Um, so, like I said, Doncaster started the better team. Uh, their first big chance was 17 minutes in when Marquis' header at the back stick was hooked off the line by Colin Hasden. And from there, Marquis had another chance and one that where he probably should have put Doncaster in front. Uh, good play down the right from Doncaster, squared across the edge of the area. Marquis about five yards out somehow managed to curl it past the post. Uh, so a let off for us there, but since then we really have improved. Joe Sabara uh, looked good before going off injured. And uh, Scott Fraser was also had a few chances uh, that have been blocked. Uh, but the Brewers' best chance coming when Marvin Sodal had a shot from about 30 yards out. Sort of a shot slash pass actually, as Aikens was looking to get on the end of it. But that went whistled just wide of the post. As so like I said, very even first half. Um, I just hope that we can get the goal in the second, uh, in the second half and uh, seal this win. Uh, the game is there to be won, and uh, uh, it's just about which team wants it more and uh, who gets that first goal. I think first goal will win the game. I think it will finish one 0 but Liam Boyce to get the goal. Uh, but yeah, we'll find out soon. We'll see you guys at full time. Come on, you Brewers. They're going to be the draw straight. Probably. Okay, guys, so it's full time now. We are back home and it did go on to finish. Burton Albion 1, Doncaster Rovers 0. The Brewers grabbing their first three points of this League One season. It was a very solid win. Over Doncaster, uh, before today, had won all three of their last games. Um, so, uh, the Brewers started the second half really positively, putting loads of pressure on. And that pressure paid off when just 47 minutes in, two minutes into the second half, Liam Boyce was played through and a beautiful shot uh, deflect, uh, bouncing in off the post to give the Brewers the lead early on. And then from there, it was just about trying to seal that lead and uh, staying defensively solid, which is what we did. Um, although Doncaster did have a few chances, I think it was their number five, had a header at the back post that he didn't get on target, and one that he probably would be very disappointed not to have at least tested Stephen Bywater. Um, Marky had another chance as well, but he blazed that well wide. Um, but yeah, and also a free kick as well, actually. Pretty peculiar one. Under the wall, straight down the middle, straight into Stephen Bywater's awaiting gloves. But yeah, down the other end, uh, for the Brewers, not much apart from the goal. Um, a, lot of, a lot of slim chances, uh, but no real massive ones. But that was all right, because we held on to the 1-0 win, and that was what was most important in the end. Um, so yeah, like I said, probably wouldn't say we fully deserved the win, but we'll take it. Um, that's us kicking off now, R properly kicking off our season, hopefully. Uh, we'll take that into the game against Bradford on Tuesday, where we'll hopefully carry on uh, and start a bit of a run going. Um, but yeah, I will be travelling to that Bradford game, so the vlog for that will probably be up on Wednesday night, although it could well be Tuesday night. It depends on... Um, how it goes really, it depends on uh, what I find that, if I can actually upload it, if there's a place where I can upload it. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time.